one-to-one -one function. This video lesson helps you to assess your knowledge of the different mathematics concepts previously studied and your skills in performing mathematical problems. This knowledge and skills will help you understand one-to-one -one function. As you go through this video lesson, think of this important question. How one-to-one -one functions represent real-life situation? Our learning competency, the learner is able to represent real-life situation using one-to-one -one functions. What you need to know? After going through this lesson, you are expected to 1. Determine if a function is a one-to-one -one. 2. Identify real-life situation using one-to-one -one function In our previous lesson, we discussed four types of relation that is, one-to-one -one relation, many-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many. and only one-to-one -one and many-to-one is a function now let's try to determine whether the following examples are one-to-one -one or not for number one we have g of x is equal to the set of ordered pair one five two six three seven and four eight the function g is one-to-one -one, since for every x value correspond to a unique y value Next, number two, we have h of x is equal to the set of ordered pair negative 3, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 3. The answer is the function h is also 1 to 1 because every value of x corresponds exactly one value for y. Now, let's try to determine whether the following mapping are 1 to 1 or not. The first R diagram or mapping is, it is one to one. The second one is, it is one to one. And the third one is, it is also one to one. Now, let's try to determine whether the following graphs are one to one or not. The first graph. The answer is 1 to 1. Second graph. The answer is 1 to 1. The third graph. Yes, the answer is 1 to 1. So all of these are 1 to 1 function. What is 1 to 1 functions? The function f is 1 to 1 if no two elements in the domain of f correspond to the same element in the range of f. This means that each x value must be matched to one and only y value. For example, number one, the relation pairing each learner to his or her learner reference number or the LRN. Solution, each learner is assigned to a unique learner reference number or LRN Further, no two different learners have the same learner reference number or LRN, thus the function is one-to-one. -one. Second example, the relation pairing an SSS member to his or her SSS number. Solution, each SSS member is assigned to a unique SSS number, thus the relation is a function. Further, Two different members cannot be assigned the same SSS number, thus the function is one-to-one. -one. Example number three, the relation pairing a real number to its square. Solution, each real number has a unique perfect square, thus the relation is a function. However, two different real numbers such as two and negative two may have the same square. Thus, the function is one-to-one. -one. Example number four, the relation pairing a citizenship to a person. Solution, the relation is a function. Each person has a citizenship. However, a person can have two citizenship or dual citizen. Therefore, 
it is not one-to-one -one function. How to determine if the graph is one-to-one -one function? A graph of a function can be determined whether a function is one-to-one -one using the horizontal line test. Horizontal line test is a function of one-to-one -one if each line does not intersect the graph at more than one point. Example, so the horizontal line intersect the graph at one point. So therefore, it is one-to-one -one function. Second graph. The horizontal line intersect the graph at three points. So therefore, it is not a one-to-one -one function. Because the horizontal line intersect the graph at more than one point. We have two graphs here. For graph number one, the horizontal line intersect the graph at one point. So therefore, it passes the horizontal line test. In graph number two, the horizontal line test intersect the graph at two points. So therefore, it fails the horizontal line test. I hope that you already know how to determine its function is one-to-one -one and how to identify real-life situation using two one-to-one -one function. For the next activities, you are going to answer exercises one to three in a separate sheet of paper as your activity and assessment. For exercises number one, you're going to determine whether the following functions are one-to-one. -one which is equivalent to one point each. For the first three, we have set of ordered pair. For four and five, we have a table of values. For six, seven, eight, and nine, is an equation. And for number 10 is mapping or arrow diagram. For second exercise, use the horizontal line test to determine whether each graph represents one-to-one -one function. Write your explanation on the box provided in each item that is equivalent to two points each. So that is from number 1 to number 10. For exercise size number 3, you're going to determine whether the given situation represents a one-to-one -one function, which is also equivalent to two points each from number 1 to 10. That's all for today, my dear student. Till next video lesson again, have a nice day, thank you.